Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're doing a review of this TNH Outdoors two chamber air mattress for backpacking. Hey everyone, it's David Wallman. So like I said, today we're doing a review of this air mattress uh, by TNH Outdoors. Um, and there's uh, some pros and cons to it. Um, and I am gonna give an honest feedback. They did send me this asking for me to do a review, um, but I told them, hey, I'm gonna give honest feedback because that's what I do on my channel. Um, and so I've gotten to use it now uh, and uh, have some thoughts on it. So uh, let's talk about some uh, well, let's first talk about some basic features of it. So first of all, um, it is uh, one point or one pound, eight ounces. Um, it is a 2.5 R value uh, and it is a two chamber air mattress, which is unique. I've never seen that before. Um, but the idea behind that is redundancy so that if something happens to one side and it gets popped, you can technically still sleep on one half. Um, and that's kind of cool and also presents some problems that I'll talk about in the cons. But um, that is what this is for. They say it's for backpacking um, and it's, uh, it's not, not too bad uh, as far as sizing and whatnot. Um, so here actually I can compare it. So this is my Nemo Tensor. Um, it is 13 ounces. This one is a pound and a half. Um, so 13, that's three ounces lighter than a pound. This one's a pound and a half. Um, size wise, you can see it's uh, it's not massive per se, um, but it is definitely bigger than if you pay for a really expensive uh, one. Uh, it is not insulated, keep that in mind. Uh, it is not insulated inside, uh, higher quality ones uh, likely are. Um, and so I would say, and I think they would kind of agree on this, that it is a three season or a summer backpacking air mattress. Um, if you're doing anything colder than that, it's just not the right gear for the job. And I talk a lot about that in my other uh, reviews and whatnot that just you have to know how to use the right tools for the job. Uh, and so this is for summer uh, and maybe some light three season um, depending on where you are and what you're doing. Um, so it is a little bit heavier uh, and a little bit bigger. Um, but the weight is more so uh, a factor to me than the size. Um, it is a two chamber air mattress. Uh, the valves are on opposite ends uh, and then on opposite sides as well, which creates problems in, that I'll go into later. Um, it has the seams are this uh, V or W shaped um, uh, seams all the way across. Um, and uh, this does leave some gap uh, of insulation, uh, obviously, and compared to something that's more of a continuous baffle. Um, but uh, originally when I got it, I thought like, okay, looks great. And then I laid on it and I was like, oh, this is really uncomfortable uh, in my living room. Uh, because you just feel the, uh, the, the pockets a lot and it's really uncomfortable, but um, I was pleasantly surprised to find that when I was actually out camping uh, in a sleeping bag and with, you know, clothes on and whatnot, I didn't notice it. So I'm not going to say that that's necessarily a con about it. So um, it's pros. I'm going to say that the fabric is a pro. So probably part of why it's heavier is they use a very thick material. Um, this, in my mind, uh, equates to having a little bit longer life, a little bit, uh, can take a little bit more abrasion than maybe some other pads. Um, and so that's, that can be a plus. Granted, uh, I tend to treat my stuff um, pretty softly anyway and take care of my gear, but um, so long as uh, you're not like going down water slides of uh, granite waterfalls or anything in this, um, then you'll probably be fine for regular day camping. Um, the pros uh, would also be that it's two chambers and there is that redundancy. Um, like I said, it creates some other issues, but uh, if you're really concerned about uh, puncturing it and losing sleep um, because you don't have an air mattress, well, um, then that's, I suppose, a nice feature as well. Um, it is cheap. It is a great uh, option to buy. So it's about 35 to $40 on Amazon right now. Um, I was told that that price may change slightly, but in general, 
that's pretty good. If you compare it, my Nemo Tensor here was $120. So a lot of uh, higher quality mattresses are gonna be more expensive, um, more in the anywhere from $100 to $200. Um, but you're getting things like insulation or the weight or you know some of those features as well um, another pro to this bag is it uses the really nice valve system so it uses the kind of two uh two method <laughs> the inflate deflate uh valve that c to summit kind of made popular on their models um, and it they are amazing i would definitely say that is a feature that is uh, worth looking for when you're looking into an air mattress. I've had the Sea to Summit uh, pad before and loved it. Um, and it's the same basic principle on this. Basically, one of the valves uh, is a one-way valve so that you can inflate it without losing air while blowing in um, and taking breaths in between. And then the second valve, when you're ready to deflate, you pop that and it uh, just lets all the air out at once so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I would say those are basically the, uh, the main pros of this bag. Some cons. Um, well, actually, let me say also, it does come with this uh, little elastic band, uh, which I would say is a pro uh, because uh, the bag that it comes with is definitely oversized um, by quite a bit. Um, so the fact that it comes with this little band, uh, super minute, but it's a nice feature. Um, some cons. So let me just start off with my biggest one. It is so difficult to get all the air out. As a matter of fact, I've never actually successfully gotten all the air out when rolling it up. Because of the two valve, two chamber system, and because of the W or V pattern seam, I have not found a way to successfully get all the air out, and it drives me bonkers. Um, both for the sake of size and also just like the principle of the matter, I just feel like infuriated. That this like, like no, there's air in there still. It drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, so because the valves are at opposite ends, you have to fold it a little differently. I found I've spent lots of time at home trying to fold different ways to find the best. What I do is I fold the pad in half and then fold it in thirds. Because the valves are on opposite sides of each other, not just uh, lengthwise, but widthwise, it also means that no matter how you fold it, there's always gonna be at least one valve tucked on the inside as you're rolling it, which typically you want the valve on the outside so that it's pushing air out uh, and there's nothing constricting it. Um, but also the V system or the, the W shaped uh, hem pattern makes it difficult because air gets trapped in those little pockets and doesn't work its way out. Um, so you're kind of at a loss either way. Um, part of the reason is that the valves aren't all the way at the end, the tip of the bag, uh, which would make a lot more sense. So um, you end up rolling up the valves before you've even gotten all the air out. Um, and I've, like I said, guys, I've been doing outdoors my whole life and uh, I tried a bunch of different ways and I just couldn't get all the air out. Um, this is the smallest I can get it basically. Um, and that just, that bugs me for whatever reason. Um, but if you're, if you're really not concerned about that, cool, here you go. Um, some other cons to it, uh, like I said, this bag is really large um, and I like bags that are typically proper sized. Um, a con may be that it only comes in the color green um, and one size, they only have one size that uh, I know of. Uh, Another thing is it's not insulated um, and that it's heavier and bigger. Um, the non-insulation really is just a matter of what you're doing. Um, again, for the price, I'm not really gonna expect it to be insulated. Um, so that's just an understanding of like, you get what you pay for. Um, and for 35 to 40 bucks, this is not a bad pad. My overall thing is this is for someone who's just getting started or looking for a cheap pad um, for summer or maybe three season backpacking. Um, if you're looking for something higher quality, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to spend the money. And that's just the way it is with pretty much everything in life is uh, if you're gonna you know, save on cost, then you're gonna sacrifice something else. That's just the way it works. You can't have everything <laughs> for cheap. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a decent bag. I expect that it's gonna last a long time because it's durable. Um, I expect uh, that if, if one part punctures that I can sleep on the other half. Um, and it's not that much bigger than an expensive pad. Um, I mean, you could, you could, if you had a family of four, you could get four of these or maybe five of these, I'm not good at math, for the price of one of the other air mattresses. But granted, my other air mattress is insulated, it's three inch thickness, it doesn't have the pattern um, that I thought was gonna be uncomfortable, um, but it wasn't. So 
all in all, uh, I'm kind of rambling now. I just wanted to give a brief overview. They sent this to me and asked for a review. I would say if you are, again, looking for a summer or three season budget air mattress, it's great. I've slept on it a few times now, and you know what? I sleep fine. Um, no problems whatsoever. Uh, is it the lightest I could go? No. Is it the warmest I could go? No, but I'm not doing winter camping with it either. Um, do I care about the color? No. <laughs> so, so ultimately, I would say uh, it really just depends on what you're looking for. Check out TNH Outdoors. Uh, they have a bunch of different projects, uh, products. Sorry, not projects. Um, uh, and an online store. Uh, and I think, I think all in all, they're putting out good gear. And they were also. I gave them my feedback ahead of time, and they were very receptive and said, "Hey, uh, thanks for the feedback. We're trying to improve our gear, and that's great." So I think um, that they're going to be uh, making adjustments down the road, uh, and I would keep an eye on them. So. Um, Thanks to TNH for sending this to me. And uh, if you have any questions about this pad, uh, drop a comment below. I do have it uh, and can answer questions about that or um, try and be helpful in that way. Um, if these videos are helpful, any of my gear reviews or behind the scenes for my photo and video production, um, please subscribe. Uh, that would be beneficial to me. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time.